Hello, we're meal prepping breakfast burritos for the entire week. These are the macros for a single burrito, but if you wanna eat two burritos at a time for your breakfast, then just double the recipe that I'm gonna show you today. How long is this gonna take us? Okay, so it's 12.51 right now. Let's see how long this actually takes us to get this done. First things first, what you will need is seven eggs. Crap, I don't have seven eggs. I only have three. So we're just gonna pretend that you're gonna put seven egg whites in here. And then we're gonna have 14 ounces of egg whites, turkey bacon, these extreme wellness high fiber tortillas. I got these at Walmart. We're gonna use some form of a radish. I, I got this radish, I don't know what kind of radish this is at, I don't know, my local grocery store, but you can use any kind of radish. I'm gonna show you how to make this taste like little potato. Some spinach, some onions, and this fat-free cheese I also picked up here at Walmart. Step one is we're gonna turn on our pan and chop up our veggies. Now for the veggies piece, I didn't really put the macronutrients in the total calorie calculation of this because the amount of vegetables is so minor, it doesn't really matter. So you can kind of play around with whatever veggies you like. I'll show you what veggies I, I think gives you the best flavor combo here. I'm also gonna be using one single pan for this entire recipe because we don't like doing dishes here. So we're just gonna have to do one pan for the whole thing. Spray your pan with any oil spray. I'm just using avocado oil here. While that pan's heating up, let's top chop up our radish because this is gonna take the longest to cook. Honestly, just chop up however much you want. It doesn't really matter, but I really like the potato like feeling in my breakfast burrito. So that's what we're doing here. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to chopping. You wanna have like really fine pieces because then they'll like cook faster and you don't want like a big chunky piece in your burrito. Okay, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. Yeah. Look at me, Martha Stewart. Look at all these little radishes. So this, this is gonna go into our pan. And we're gonna let that cook until it gets like potato-y. The next thing we're gonna chop up is some mushrooms, mushrooms. So I'm taking about like three mushrooms here. I might do more, honestly, it really doesn't matter because the calories and mushrooms are so like negligible. The whole point of what we're trying to do with mushrooms is we're just trying to like make ourselves feel full. So again, we wanna make sure we cut these pretty finely here. So this is gonna be, I think the third thing we add to our pan. The second thing we're gonna add is onions. I don't have anyone helping me with this video, so that's why I'm wearing this GoPro. Hopefully it, this video turns out, I have no idea. Then we're gonna add some salt. I'm just using this like, whatever salt works. And then we like kind of reach in and we, we go for trying to have a little bite of our radish and we want to get the radish to the point where it's not super hard. Let's add our mushrooms. Then while this is cooking, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our turkey bacon in order. So I'm gonna use seven pieces of turkey, turkey bacon. And I'm just gonna microwave it. I honestly have no idea how long this is gonna take to microwave. It's just gonna be like a guessing game. I think we're gonna try a minute. I don't know. Cause I've never microwaved seven pieces of turkey bacon before. Okay, so as you can see, this is starting to like get brown right here. 
And once that gets brown, we're gonna add in our spinach, but we're gonna chop the spinach so it's like a little bit finer, you know what I'm saying? Putting spinach in like a breakfast burrito is great because you can't really taste it. And it helps you feel full. Spinach is higher in, in things like iron, which is really good for you if you're a woman and you have a, if you're a woman and you have a period, you need to get more iron in your diet. Then we're gonna chop up our turkey bacon. And we're gonna add it to our pan. The pan is pretty filled with stuff and I'm putting the turkey bacon in the pan because it's gonna make it a little bit more crispy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our eggs and egg whites. We're gonna put in our seven eggs, full eggs. And then we're gonna do our 21 ounces of egg whites, which is about two ounces per breakfast burrito. We're gonna add that to our pan. Okay, so you can see this starting to like, you gotta start scrambling, scrambling away. Get those like eggs all up in there. I believe the whole, the entire cost, like all the groceries and everything for all these breakfast burrito ended up being about, I wanna say it was like 14 bucks. So it ended up coming out to about $2 for a burrito. So it looks like this is done. We're gonna turn that off. We're also gonna throw in our cheese. So what's going on with this recipe here is instead of getting our fats from like just full fat cheese, what we're doing is we're getting most of our fats from the actual egg yolk. It's also a healthier source of fat than cheese. Look at that, yum. Okay, so that's done. So we're gonna remove that from there. We don't want the cheese to get all sticky icky. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out aluminum foil and parchment paper, and we're gonna start wrapping our burritos. What you're first gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lay out your aluminum foil first, then put your parchment paper on top of that like so. Layer down this thing. And then we're gonna just, you know, practice being a Chipotle employee. And we just put a little bit in the burrito. Oh, look at how cheesy and gooey that is, yum. And then in order to kind of like fold this burrito, my approach is kind of go like this. And then you kind of fold it like this on each side. And then you keep wrapping it like this. You see that? See that little burrito right there? And then you kind of wrap it like this, hold both edges, and then just keep on wrapping. And then you wrap it like this and you do this another seven times and you have breakfast burritos for the entire week. Now, what you can also do is you can freeze these so that for the whole entire week you have breakfast burritos. I'm getting good at this. This is great. Burrito number three. Last one. There's a little bit extra. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat it. Mmm. Okay, so there you have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven breakfast burritos for the entire week and this took me less than 30 minutes to do. And you know what, the cool thing about breakfast is that you can have it at any time of day. You can have it for dinner, in the middle of the night, for breakfast, it doesn't really matter. Breakfast is great. If you give this recipe a try, tag me on Instagram, let me know how you like it, and I'll see you in the next video. One of the things I would do when I was like hungry at like 2 a.m. is I would just saute a bunch of mushrooms and eat them. And then I wasn't hungry anymore. Now my go-to is strawberries because I got rid of my fear of carbs.